Hi, how are you going? Um, so today I wanted to talk to you about um, my idea, which is that there are no rules for how you can achieve success. My story is that I grew up in Mackay and I have a very close-knit family. And when I was younger, uh, like in primary school age, I pretty much spent most of my life with my head in a book. And as a consequence of that, I tended to have a more extensive vocabulary um, than a lot of other people my age, which I think made me look a lot smarter than I actually was. Um, I'm not sure if it was this or just because my family believed in me, but they always told me that I was going to be somebody. I was going to do something great. And it seemed a foregone conclusion that I'd go on to uni. Um, so, I don't, I think they meant well, but for me, I started placing a lot of pressure on myself, um, you know, about what I was going to do and who I was going to be, etc. And when I got to my senior years, um, choosing our degrees, etc., I went um, with a dual degree in psychology and law. Um, and I was going to move to Brisbane to do it. Now, I can't tell you now why I was going to do that. I'm not even sure what career path I wanted to take. Um, but during the end of my year 12 year, we had two um, deaths in the family quite close together. And one of them was my big brother. And it obviously really shook my family. Um, and I didn't realise it at the time, but looking back now, I can see that it sent me on a complete tailspin. I didn't know what I wanted to do anymore and who I wanted to be and I knew that I definitely didn't want to leave Mackay um, because I wanted to stay with my family. So I ended up uh, just enrolling in a, um, I changed my preferences and did a Bachelor of Arts, um, enrolling in Bachelor of Arts over at CQU. And I did a law um, subject and I did a psychology subject just to see if there was you know, still anything interesting for me and uh, I wasn't suited for either of them. By the end of my first year of uni, I completely burnt out and um, I started not handing in assignments and, you know, quit class and all that sort of thing. So I decided to take six months off. And at that time, there was sort of a, a you know, a trend that basically if you deferred uni, it was pretty much code for dropping out. And I didn't want that to happen and my mum sure as hell didn't want that to happen. Um, so after six months of working pretty much full time, um, my mum said to me, you know, why don't, you've always enjoyed writing, why don't you do a journalism degree? And so I did that. While I was doing my journalism degree, I um, accidentally did a course in PR and marketing. And a light bulb went off and I was like, oh, fantastic, found it, this is what I want to do. So I changed my degree again, which mum was super excited about. And um, I've now been in marketing for over 10 years and I've had the opportunity to work in uh, not-for-profit and charity um, I've done marketing within a small business for the business. Um, I have been in big businesses with over 70 locations through Queensland and done marketing with them. And then I was at an agency where you do marketing for lots of different businesses. And it was while I was there uh, that my dream job came up. So when I graduated from uni, my goal was that I wanted to do marketing for Mackay. I really love this town and I wanted to be able to use my skill set in some small way to make life better here for everybody. Um, so my idea was that I would do marketing for our local council. And this is the, it did, that job actually didn't exist when I graduated, but it, it came up eventually and um, I somehow managed to get it. And so I was there for two and a half years and it was um, a lot of fun. When I started at council, I didn't have any conflict of interest anymore to start my own little side business, um, which was more of a passion project really. And that's when I started um, Instincts, which was a corporate magazine for the region. And then I started a couple of other businesses. And then I started getting asked for people um, if I could collaborate on their projects. And getting asked if I, um, you know, by people if I would mentor them. And you know, being asked to be on committees, etc. And all these opportunities and, and ideas and things kept cropping up all the time. And so in February of this year, um, I gave up my very comfortable, secure government job and went out on my own, um, working full-time, self-employed. So now I get to spend my days sleeping in, um, hanging out with really cool people, doing work that I love, 
and I can spend time with my family whenever I want to. And that's what success is for me. Success is having the freedom to choose whatever I want to do every single day. And I feel so incredibly lucky to be living the life that I do. Um, in a way, I think that I risked what I thought I'd always wanted to achieve something that I never let myself believe I could have. And I think that's possible for anybody, no matter where you are or where you're from or what you're doing. Um, you know, being in marketing, especially back in the day, oh God, that makes me sound old. Um, <laughs> but it was, in my industry, there wasn't a lot of opportunity in Mackay. Marketing was a fairly new concept, and on top of that, we were having our biggest mining boom ever, so people were running into stores with money, etc. They didn't need marketing. So there wasn't a lot of opportunity around. And it was just a recurring theme of people asking me, you know, when are you going to move to Brisbane? When are you going to go to Melbourne? When are you going to go to, you know, one of the big cities and make a big success of yourself? And being the stubborn little pain that I am, I didn't want to do that. Um, I, I definitely thought about it, you know, quite seriously a few times, but I didn't want to, um, you know, get to the end of my career and go, I really wish that I had more time with my niece and nephew, with my brother left behind two little kids. Um, who've been a big part of my life. Um, you know, I didn't want to regret not being there and watching them grow up and being able to help them and support them and stuff. And so instead of, you know, following in other people's footsteps and going to Brisbane or Melbourne where, yes, there's a lot of opportunity and yes, you can walk in the footsteps of millions of other people and do exactly what they did to achieve success, I thought, stuff it. I didn't think it didn't quite in those words. Um, I'm going to stay here and I'm going to make my own version of success in whatever way I choose to do. And that's what I feel like I've done, and I think anyone can do that. My view is that the world really is a playground, uh, not just in the sense of traveling, but there are always new experiences to be had, and new things to learn, and new ideas to develop, and new things to create, and you can be a part of that in any way that you choose. There really are no rules. Success is whatever you choose to make it. Thanks, guys.